Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Alan Mads, in my Seeds, Tours and Reviews series. Last week, episode 26, Gertrudis gave us an amazing spawn in. It's got mansions, it's got villages, it's got, blimey, it's just got loads. Go and see it, the link is in the description below. Episode 27, we're going back to Bedrock. Let's crack over there now. And we are in Bedrock. I still don't feel entirely comfortable sitting in this format. It doesn't feel quite right. We've got one 14.3 update right in front of us. So let's get ourselves into the seed. Right, so we're on our world creation screen. This is the world name, but it is also the seed. That way I can find it later. That makes it easy. 3181587. Are all Bedrock seeds this small? Are they all short? Because Java seeds are really long, but these all seem to be quite short. Make sure you put it in the seed right there. And I've put on show coordinates. So I'm hoping what that means is that coordinates will be shown. I don't know. Shall we find out? Let's create the world. We're on top of our tower and you can see there the sun is rising from over there. So I may not be able to do an F3 screen, but I know the sun rising from that direction is the east, which makes it that direction for north. So with that in mind, we are going to shoot ourselves out towards what is not just pretend north, but actual north. Last time, pretend north couldn't work it out, was all terribly complicated. But we've got this nice mushroom biome to the right hand side of us. And actually, it's quite significant. It goes right off into the distance over there. We've got ice on the other side of us, you can see there, and mostly ocean. We've got more ice just past the mushroom biome there, which is always good. Bring your silk touch pick, you will not be short of ice. What have we got under there? That's is that a monument? Oh, we got the monument right there, look. Bang! Straight in. That's uh, You can still see the post. We've done what? A couple of hundred uh, couple of hundred things? We're in position 4265 minus 393. Spawn was not at 0, zero. Remember that, because otherwise I'm going to confuse myself in a big star. But let's carry on in the northerly direction. I've barely gone more than a few hundred blocks again, and we've got another monument. So, I mean, it's not quite a double monument, but the last monument's just literally over there at the point of the island. So you're not quite close enough to make it a double bubble, I don't think. Although you might be, just about. But two monuments. Double monument in a bedrock seed. Very useful. So we come a little bit further and we've got this big old plains biome. Actually, this is quite nice for building on. It kind of comes out, a couple of little islands on the end. You could do that. It's got some nice texture in. A little bit of terraforming probably required. But I think that'd be a really nice place to do a decent bit of building. You could sweep a city all the way around this shape here and you know, don't need to take too much wood out and you've got all of the forest there just at the edge of it you've got more ice this is like a frozen seed it's a seed straight out the freezer we've got the mountains there obviously the mountains really useful for mine and you're going to get a lot more mining stuff and we've got another nice foresty biome i thought that was a mushroom biome then i got confused we've got another forest biome there coming in the, I think it's a dark oak forest, my eyes, all oh, my eyes, and also a swamp. So we've got fairly decent biome diversity going out in the northerly direction. Another few hundred blocks down in that northerly direction, and we have turned ourselves into a witch hunter. Yeah, so we've got a witch here. Look, hello, witch. We, is, is the witch at home? Should we have a look? Are you at home? Are you at home? Oh, you are, and you've got your cat. Hello, witch. Go on, that'll learn you. And just the other side of that witch hut with the swamp here, we've got... What I think is the first village we've come across in this direction. And it's a plains village. Looking at, it's, it's not that big, really. You do have the church, so you could definitely snuff yourself a brewing stand. But we've not got um, a blacksmith's there, unfortunately. But not that many villages either, just a few. But enough to be able to relocate them, definitely. Massive tiger biome as well, right next to that village. So you've got most of the types of wood you need. Have we seen Savannah yet? I'm not sure we have. And another really significantly sized plains biome with a big old mountain in the middle. So, I mean, you could do something really nice with that, couldn't you? Uh, like a castle on the mountain. We're heading out east now and we've gone past the mushroom biome up on the left and we've got another one. That's a third, that's even closer. That's like, the, look, that, come on, spawn in, spawn in. That's even closer. There's the pole. There's the, that's, so that's three within, what, a few hundred blocks of spawn? That's mental. Nice big frozen ocean here. Uh, always enjoy a good frozen ocean. As long as I've got a silk touch pick, they're very, very useful. 
What's beyond here? So we've got a tiger biome in the mountains. Uh, so you've got both the spruce wood and you've also got some decent mining. Is that a village on top of that mountain there? I'm just going to zoom in there and see whether or not it is. And the answer is yes. Really weird split village. Look at that. They've got that really bizarre looking house on the top of that mountain. I, d I don't like the design of that house at all. Although this is a tiger village. So I do like the design of the villagers themselves. Hello, little dude. We're continuing on east. And we know we're going east because our x coordinate is going up and the other one isn't doing it too much. We've got a dark oak forest down there. We've got a birch forest there. We've got some interesting mountains just over there. That's got quite a nice rock formation you might be able to do something with. And another big plains. And actually, I think I like this plains the best so far because we've got the ocean there, which is always good. We like the ocean. We've got a relatively flat area, minimal terraforming required. You've got your dark oak, you've got your birch, you've got a swamp right here. So you've got your oak and... I think it's a really nice shape the way the rivers all come around it as well. You can make a beautiful build right there. So heading out south from my little island, and it's actually quite a nice little island. You could do island survival on that really quite simply, couldn't you? You've got a bit of a bit of luggage that's fallen over, exclusive to bedrock. Don't get that in Java. I really like the idea of that. It's 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 a nice little effect. Heading in this southerly direction, you can tell you're going south because you're Z coordinates are going up really fast and nothing else is. You've got a decent sized swamp. You've got a dark oak forest. You've got a little bit more ice. Again, this is a totally frozen seed. You've got mountains over there to the left. Still not seen any desert, have we? That's quite interesting. And we've got more dark oak, more swamp, and a little bit of a plains coming over there. I wonder what happens when I continue further. Continuing out south is all very islandy. Lots and lots of wet, a lot of it frozen. Until you hit kind of this area here with this big plains and forest. A bit of a weird looking mountain effort there. It's got some kind of pillars that you could fly through. I shan't fly through because I might squash my face. But we do have a pillager tower at the end of this plains on this. I love the blue of the sea in bedrock. It, it's just so nice, isn't it? It really is nice. But this pillager outpost right on top. These poor villagers, look at them. Poor villagers right on top of these villagers here. And this is a good sized village as well. Is there an, And we do have a blacksmith in this village. There are still villagers in the village. They obviously aren't that bothered about the tower. Brave, brave villagers that they are. Relatively flat all the way around it, except for that uh, kind of ravine there with... Oh, it's not so much a ravine, more of a river valley that you've got there, which is beautiful. But, you know, they're still, they're waiting. They want to have a go. They're, they're running around like quite, they're quite keen there, aren't they? What were, they, what were you keen about? What were you chasing? You and your mates. Why, why are you jumping off like that? Are you mental? Heading out in a westerly direction now. You can tell you're going west because your X value is going down really fast and nothing else is moving. Very little, but wet stuff. We've got some coral here which is fabulous so you found yourself a little bit of a coral reef heading out a little bit in the westerly direction and then a big old um, extreme hills mountainous biome here if you like build actually this is nice if you like building in the mountains this could be all right look at the shapes and the colors of that that would work beautifully and a wee bit further out in this westerly direction we have found the mesa Hello, Mesa, right next to the frozen area. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, you got a little bit of wet between you, I suppose. But really dry, hot place, really wet, cold place, right next to each other. Always froze me, that does. Now, have we got anything interesting in this Mesa? How big is it? If you're short of a bit of gold and you don't want to go mining, this is quite a nice Mesa, actually. You could build, you've got a nice flat area on this side, but then you've got this kind of valleyed area here that's got all the striated... Um, terracotta lurking around it that's this is big wow this just continues on look at that that's massive coming out just past the mesa on the right hand side we've got another village you can see just over there it's another fairly decent sized village by the look of it we've got a bit of swamp we've got a dark oak forest and at last we appear to have found ourselves a bit of the desert i'm not massively surprised really quite common that mesa's bordering in onto a desert. Desert village right down there, decent size. Some interesting shapes of the mountains in this desert. That looks dangerous, is all I can say. You don't wanna be uh, falling off of that one. Another pillager tower, however, over in that direction, you can just see phasing into the distance. 
and I'm assuming that means that there's going to be another villager or, or village area there. Can anybody see the desert temple? And there it is right there with a ravine, nice old deep ravine there. There's a village just over there. Looks like a two tire, a two towered village, which is great. And a savannah just coming in to the distance because we've not really seen the savannah yet either, had we? Savannah coming in there. I think we've got all the biomes except for jungle now. Ah, look at that. That poor village. That poor village is closer than the other one. I'm surprised there's any villagers left. Ah, actually, doesn't look like there are any villagers left. Oh, no, there are. Just the odd village. Maybe the golem's been working overtime. With a little bit of a slash locate, we can see here that the nearest Woodland Mansion is around about 23,500 on the Z, so it is a bit of a trot away. The Stronghold, relatively close, about a thousand blocks away, not very far at all. Uh, we've even got Buried Treasure, not that far, somewhere around here, I must have missed a shipwreck or something, it is very, very close. And the Mineshaft is pretty much underneath our feet, because remember, I can't go into spectator mode in Bedrock, that's rubbish, so I can't have a little bit of a mooch around. But what I can do, is go to the nether. I made a slightly bigger portal, because I wanted to. I'm gonna go into dimensional, you can see the post is just over there, giving it a little bit of separation. Let's have a look and see what's on the other side. Oh, fairly quickly through, you are on a shelf, but big, wide and open, you are not remotely ghast proof. That ghast is literally right there. We, however, don't have any um, lava jumping in on top of us. Big old lava lake down there though, however, and you'd be able to get yourself the magma blocks and some soul sand just a little bit from here. What about how close the nearest fortress is? Let's do a locate from back here and we can see how far away it is. So you can see there that the nearest nether fortress is 656 by minus 192. And if we look at our own uh, coordinates there, we're not that far away. We're actually not too far away. We're about 100 blocks in both the Z and the X away from where we need to be. Let's crack over there now. And this fortress is almost entirely buried within the um, netherrack. I mean, it's, you can barely see it. It's got a decent blaze spawning. You could definitely make a farm out of that. If you want to come and explore in this nether fortress, you better bring yourself a pick and stuff like that because you've got to dig around to find anything. It's also massive. It's got a few blaze spawners. It's actually really quite a nice fortress. I like it a lot, but I can't find the fungus, which really bothers me. This scene is fab. Look, you've got the ice in the background. You've got the mushroom island in the background. You've got a nice little survivor line that you're on. But we got three monuments within, I could probably shoot arrows at them from where we are now. Plus, there's all kinds of stuff going on around us. The stronghold is only a thousand blocks away. And there's a chicken. It's not Georgie. It's not, you're not even related to Georgie. In fact, you'd have no clue who I am. So today, I want to say thank you to Vic the Viking 85. Vic, thank you very much indeed for supplying this bedrock seed. It's brilliant. You are my bedrock guru. And as a result, I have put you as episode 27. Really, really appreciate you sharing it. And the someone just laid an egg right underneath you there Vic if you have got an amazing seed whether it is bedrock whether it is java I don't care send it to me at avamanceminecraft at gmail.com don't send it to the chicken avamanceminecraft at gmail.com let me know a little bit about the seed give me a little bit of annotation as what's good maybe give me some coordinates and maybe an advanced map or something like that to allow me to have a good old explore oh my god there's two of them if you have enjoyed this video please remember to slap that like button it'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.